Covering Colorado first at five tonight, a Colorado family is shocked to learn their loved one is the man now blamed for a deadly string of bombings in Austin, Texas. That man had been in our state as recently as Christmas. That nerve-wracking, nearly month-long search for the bomber did come to an end overnight. The suspect blew himself up as investigators closed in. Mark Anthony Condit is blamed for killing two people who opened packages that exploded. At least four others are recovering. Surveillance video from a FedEx office provided a break in the case. Rick Salinger is here now. And Rick, you talked with Condit's family here in Colorado. Well, Kathy, as you know, it's always difficult to talk to family members at a time like this. But Mike Courtney, the suspect's uncle, was gracious, and we talked for about five minutes off camera. He said his nephew was a smart young man who must have had a hidden dark corner in his mind. The trail that led to this spot in this final moment led in part through Colorado. 23 years old Mark Anthony Condit's grandmother, aunt and uncle, live in the Denver area. His uncle Mike Courtney told me that Mark was in Lakewood with them just last Christmas. They had no clue that he might have been planning bombings. He played cards with them. He added these days his nephew was rebuilding a house with his dad in Texas. Extremely nice and wonderful people. But at Mark Condit's home, SWAT teams were breaking in, and the picture people had of the young man was now very different. There is no way to understand this, none whatsoever. Video surveillance pictures of a FedEx store obtained by KITV in Austin showed the suspect wearing a wig, but revealed his license plate number and other details. Condit's family issued a statement. We had no idea of the darkness that Mark must have been in. Our family is a normal family in every way. We love, we pray, and we try to inspire and serve others. They added, their prayers are now for the families who lost loved ones in the bombings and for the soul of our mark. Reporters have been going through Condit's writings to try to learn more about him. A blog that he wrote indicated he was a conservative for the death penalty and against same-sex marriage, but no motive is known for the attacks. Jim and Kathy. Thanks, right. Rick.